Hey guys, so I'm here working on the uh, thermal management system and while right now I do feel a little defeated because everything was going so well, uh, all of my plumbing is, uh, I hesitate to say, done, uh, but it is. So I've got my dual pumps right here. Uh, it's not pretty, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> One of the things I did early on that I thought was solid is this junction here that connects the Tesla um, te Tesla cool coolant pump line uh, adapter to the battery pack is actually leaking a little bit. You can see the fluid down here. So everything else is good, but unfortunately, uh, this custom little bracket that I made to hold this thing in place is not good enough. Uh, so that really fucking sucks. I mean, luckily it's right here. It's pretty easily accessible, but I'm going to have to revisit that. I mean, it's not budging, not moving at all, but I'm going to have to uh, take that out and re-examine what's going on. So I had the system filled. Uh, right now I'm draining it. I have a drain line right here. I have a second drain line over there that I uh, will try next. Um, I'll show you. So right up front here, I'm putting it back into my bucket. You can hear it still trickling. And then on the other side I have uh, it's under there somewhere, but same same hose, three it's hose, hose that's coming out and going to that. So, oh, there's my radiator. Got that connected. Have that in place. I was really hoping to have this video be, uh, hey, I'm fucking done. <laughs> it's great. Everything works, but yeah, like everything, there's trial and error. So I'm going to have to work on that, get that fixed. I started getting this, the switches and wiring worked on, making some really good progress actually, but it, it is a shitload of work. This is definitely a lot, and it's it's already been harder and more work than the first first version. So, just draining this, and uh, that's where I'm at. See you guys. Well, after my fail of... Uh... The seal down here which I still need to address I just can't get the pipes off so I gotta order a tool to get these uh, tubes off and pull that out so after that I decided to do something I can actually complete and and do right uh, so I started wiring everything up uh, it looks like a mess now nothing's been uh, cleaned up or flex loomed or zip tied obviously so I've got my three-way valve here that's all wired in that's wired up to the first switch or first relay here and the one relay does uh all the work it needs to do to switch that back and forth depending on if my controller which isn't here yet the controller is going to sit right here uh so depending on if the controller is calling for heat or cooling this will switch it back and forth and then uh, this is my relay for heating this is my relay for cooling uh so this will this will run a cooling fan which i don't have yet but I'll, I'll probably need a cooling fan on the radiator um this is going to just run the contactor uh it's that first contact uh contactor right there which will turn the uh battery heater on and off and then both of them go to indicator lights which are in there in that mess so I'll know via the indicator switch if the controller is calling for uh, heating or cooling. I have three extra wires here that I ran. These are ran all the way to the rear of the car or <laughs> rear of the camper. I don't know if I'll need them, but I'd rather have a couple extra wires and not need them than get all this together and say, oh shit, I needed another wire for something. So, so they're extra. That's what they're just hanging here. Uh, everything else still needs to get cleaned up. Green wire here. This is off. It's not on. Uh, the green wire here is wired to this switch here, and it'll send 12 volts. I figured uh, 
if I get a, a Tesla cap and heater or something, I can use that switch over there and uh, turn the cabin heater on and off. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Everything is looking good. There was no other, there were no other leaks, just that major one down there. And what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is take it off and get some, uh, some kind of sealant to go around it just to, to make it tight because it's on there. It's, it's not moving. It's just, yeah, just leaking. So I still got to adjust that, but I thought I'd show you some positive stuff and positive progress. Hey guys, so back at it. It's late in the evening. It's like 10 o'clock. And for the most part, uh, I think I have most of the electrical done. I know it still looks like a mess. I still have to go through and put things away, but I'm ready to flip the switches and turn it on and see what happens. So I've got everything wired back here, high voltage and 12 volt. I'm still working on outlets and stuff right here, but I've got it ready so that I can test the pack voltage from my bus bars right here. Uh, I just finished wiring up the relays here. So the first relay back here is the high voltage uh, contactors inside the battery pack. Uh, then the second one is the DC to DC converter here. That'll turn that on and off. And the last one is uh, accessory for the actual battery pack for the, uh, the Tesla battery pack. So I know it still looks messy, but we're getting there and I'm going to go flip the switch and uh, see what happens. I should be doing this outside, but it is dark, freezing. I figure I can run out there and move my wife's car real quick and push this thing out if I have to. And uh, But it's it's super cold. This, uh, this was a uh, vodka lemonade. <laughs> I've been out here for like an hour and it's frozen. Uh, so, all right, so here are my switches. I haven't put in my plugs here yet. Uh, so here goes nothing. Okay, so that activates all of these switches. Uh, there was a click in the back uh, activating. Oh, so the click in the back was the relay for the uh, Tesla battery pack. All right, so the second one is the HV contactor. So once I turn that on, I'm going to have high voltage power at the front box here and the rear. So this is uh, this is the big one. All right, no smoke. Uh, doesn't show voltage. That's on there. There we go. 381 volts. So those are hot. <laughs> uh, definitely have to be careful with that. I've got the covers, but I will make sure that I, now that this is all working, I will double and triple check before I ever do anything in here because that is voltage that will kill you. You will be dead before you even know you did something wrong. Uh, okay, so that's working. Let's try the DC to DC. Well, actually, let's check the voltage first. So 12.65. Let's see, so that's the fan that just clicked on for the DC to DC. So it means it's getting 12 volt power. Uh, 12 point, uh, so that didn't change, did it? That should be up 13, 14. All right, so I'll have to look at the DC to DC converter. Uh, that should better work. Um, like it was used out of a, a volt, but I'll have to double check my wiring. If that's the worst thing that's happened, I call that successful. 
All right, uh, I guess that's it for now. I am freezing my fingers off. Um, so it started with a failure with my coolant leak. At least it ended with success and actually turning the pack on, which holy shit, man, that's a pretty big moment. That's pretty cool. And I, I did pretty much all this wiring in a, a day, day and a half. Um, at least connecting the relays, switches, making sure everything was connected right. So that's, that's pretty freaking cool. All right, till next time. See you guys.